Hello everyone and welcome back. We are now on, wow, part 9 already of our Let's Play of Endless Space. Um, before we start playing, I just want to acknowledge uh, I'm getting great feedback on the video so far. Um, I am on part 9 right now. I've only posted up to part 3, so this might take a while for this feedback to get to you, but um, I'm getting great responses on my videos. I'm glad you're enjoying them. And I am enjoying playing the game and I'm enjoying uh, doing some commentary for it as well. This is great. This is my first Let's Play series, so I'm glad it's going so well. I'm definitely going to do more in the future on a variety of different games because I'm a big fan of games and, and a big fan of Let's Plays now. Uh, so firstly, I want to acknowledge that I've turned down the music, um, the background music, because there was a little bit of a high-pitched squeal going on in videos 3, 4, and 5. Um, the rest of the videos should be okay, and I apologize for that. And if you do need to skip the videos, that's okay. Um, and I usually give a brief summary and a, at the beginning and the end of each video, so you know you can just go through that to kind of see what I've been doing. Um, another thing that has been commented on a little bit was my sound levels seem to be a bit low, uh, or in some cases extremely low. One person commented that he needed to crank up his 1,000 watt speakers all the way in order to hear me, which is it's a little bit hard for me to believe because everything kind of sounds good when I. Uh, listen to it on YouTube and on VLC so I'm not sure it might be um, he definitely might be having a problem but it might be specific to his hardware or his sound hardware or something like that but in order to make sure that everything's sounding good I did crank up my microphone volume a little bit so this video should be a little bit louder so that combined with the lower mu uh, background music should make my voice a little bit easier to understand um, and I'm I'm pretty sure he was talking about volume. I maybe should have asked him if he was talking about me maybe not enunciating things as good as I could. Um, so, and if that's a problem as well, please let me know. Um, the unfortunate thing about me acknowledging this right now is that by the time this video is posted, I will have already recorded a bunch of videos. But, you know, that's the way it goes. And uh, eventually you'll you'll hear this and maybe you'll be able to comment and and it'll all be good. Okay, so moving on with the actual gameplay, and actually let me start my timer, because I always forget to do this, and we've been talking for a couple minutes, so it's not that big of a problem. Okay, we're all set there. So uh, in our last video, we finished off, very early in the video, we finished off the Green Pilgrims. They had two systems left. Um, I've been in cancer, so we finished them off and destroyed them. We can go up into our diplomacy view here, and we see that the Green Pilgrims are dead. And we started to m focus a little bit more on our m uh, researching military, militarily, and we increased our weapons and and armor, our, our attack and our defense in those areas. And we retrofitted all our existing fleets. Uh, we made some improvements to increase our fleet max size to 11, which is excellent. That's much. That's four more than any of our facts. Any of our opposing factions have um, and we started to build up a great force and we decided to go after the orange pilgrims and in the first turn of war we actually pretty much took out their entire fleet uh, as far as I know they pretty much only have this one fleet with a military power of 1229 and we have all our fleets over here we did suffer some losses for the first time um, but that is that was to be expected, and it's definitely it was definitely worth it, especially just in one turn. We were able to basically mass all of our fleets over here and go in one at a time. They were trying to counter us, and we just kept fighting back. So in this video, hopefully we will uh, finish off Orange's fleets, at least um, the threatening ones, and we'll start invading. And our dreadnoughts, or rather our cruisers, and we'll go and look at our... Um, well, I guess we did name it a Dreadnought, um, and that probably was a bad name when we made this in the first place because this is actually a cruiser ship class, and there's actually a Dreadnought ship class, so uh, maybe I should have thought of a better name, but at that point, I didn't know that there was a Dreadnought ship class. But our Dreadnoughts have this. Where is it? Let me go in here. It has our S2G Kinetics, which is an invasion support module, which will make invasion a little bit faster, so that should help out when we start invading. All right, so let's get going. Uh, the Orange Pilgrims now hate us. That's fairly obvious. And yes, that was the end of the turn, so we'll end the turn.
And we should get attacked by orange. Here we go. And we'll wait for that attack. Hmm. Looks like they don't. Yep, here we go. Actually, and they are fairly, fairly, um, fairly, uh, kinetic. They're heavily kinetic, and but it's a fairly sizable fleet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into manual, and we're going to play some of our cards. Uh, and they are attacking our, one of our weaker fleets, so that could be a problem as well. I think what I might do is do some use a defensive card on the first hand uh, a defensive card on the second hand well let's go uh, deflector deflectors are for kinetic so that's great they have a lot of kinetic but not a lot of missiles and then right now I'm gonna also go I'm gonna go and defense again and then an offensive retreat so we should be able to take out um, or use some of our missiles to take out at least a couple of their ships. They are they might hurt us, um, but it might be worth it to at least take out a couple of their ships. And you can see already we're losing some health. And what did they use? They used um, that barrier card, I believe it is. Okay, we lost two ships. We've taken out three of their ships, however very good and we also countered their offense with defense so we might be able to let's see let's go ahead and again go with defense and those there's the missiles coming in right now excellent excellent we might be able to take them out right now oh and we lost one too and we actually did win this battle. It was very, very close. We did lose four ships, but we took out five. And I think that's really the, that was the major blow on their forces. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us too badly. Hmm, they had more, yeah, they must have had a fleet underneath that moving fleet. Oh, actually they have a little bit yeah, they have... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Let's go auto. We're going to lose that ship. Even if we were to go into manual and do a retreat, I have a feeling we would uh, lose. So that's okay. Probably going to get attacked again. Yes, now they're trying to attack one of our better fleets. And what I'm going to do is... Let's go auto again. I've been doing a lot of auto, but we have... I'll only go into manual if it's really fairly even or if it's a little in their favor just to see if I can tip the scales a little bit better and you can see we did we did much much better we didn't lose any health and we took out all one two three four five six seven of their ships and they're probably going to attack again no I guess not oh okay here it is yeah and we'll go auto for this one as well this is one of their smaller and I bet they, oh, they have a couple missiles here, so we might get, yes, we did lose one ship. That's all right. And here comes another, uh, yep, there's another one. And let's go auto again. The battle system is a little bit drawn out as well. That is one thing I would like to see the developers patch to make it a little bit faster. It is um, very cinematic, and it's very cool to, to look at but it is a little bit slow. Um, and I mean, once you have your cards played, I mean, it's nice to kind of wait and see the action unfold, but it is a little bit, you know, it, it takes a, a, a while. Um, one thing I do want to do is send my scout over here uh, just to make sure, looks like, and to make, uh, as kind of a choke point. Okay, they have an, a fleet coming over here. Let me scope out. Okay, that should be okay. I just want to see if they have any scouts uh, off in the distance. They might have some scouts up here in the Purple Pilgrims region, but that's all right. Um, we did have a, we do have an injured uh, hero, which means if we don't heal them, I think they have to. Yeah, they're a hundred percent injured. They have to go into the academy to heal up. Um, let me dismiss that for now and take a look. We'll keep him in there for one turn and see how if um if that injured goes down. 
and see how much it goes down by. That is our one of our best commanders, so we might want to just uh, we might want to just take the bullet, bite the bullet, and take that 400 dust hit to get him up and running. But let's take our our best fleet right now, which has a military power of about 4,500, and just go ahead and wipe out that uh, the rest of their fleets, which looks like it looks like they are. Um, Mm, and they did do some pretty bad attack. Yeah, because we had um, we have no missile defense at all. That's really where we failed um, in our inv in our invasion here. We had no missile uh, defense whatsoever because we were still under the assumption that they were not going. They didn't have missile uh, attack modules, which was a bad assumption to make. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to, let's leave our weakest one, which looks like this one by just a bit. Uh, actually, let's, yeah, this one has much less health. So let's leave them in this system for now. They do have a repair ship, so that, and, but it, we are not in a friendly territory, so repairs will go a little bit slower. But we're going to do an invasion and a guard. We're going to take this one. And this fleet will come in, but they should be repelled fairly easily. <clears throat> and what I want to do is send... I want to send one up here and one over here. Uh, yeah, because they're still going to... Even though we're going to be invading and guarding, they're still going to be able to churn out uh, troops. And what they could do is just leave them in their hangar and then... Um, pull them all out when they have a huge force so I want to make sure that that won't um, hurt us now there are pirates over here and we did send a fleet over here to deal with them but I think the better better move would be to send these guys back up here because these pirates aren't doing anything right now they aren't invading us they're not gonna hurt us so it's just a better idea and let's resolve that movement we have yes we have a force a couple, yeah, it's a dreadnought, and we actually have a couple in here as well. So I want to gather these guys. That's going to make an a 11 out of 11 fleet over there. Okay, so let's send this fleet to Tsing. They won't make it the whole way. And let's send this fleet. And they do have a repair ship. Yes, they do. Do these guys have a repair ship? Yes, they do. Excellent. And we have some dreadnoughts. Do we have some dreadnoughts here? No, we don't. That might be bad. We do have dreadnoughts here, so we might want to send these guys. Uh, we'll keep these guys here for now. And we'll take our scout, and he's out of movement points. That's okay. And this is our... Hmm. These are... This is a good fleet. I wonder why we were just sitting here. Let's go over here with these guys. Oh, right. We were sending them up. That's right. We were doing pirates over here. Okay. So we did level up a couple of our fleet. Let's see. We have a fleet commander that leveled up. And let's give this guy more offense. That's great. Best defense is a good offense, as they say. Or is it the other way around? Hmm. Can't remember. Now this is our highest level hero. He has a lot, a lot of abilities. And what I actually might want to do is go for a little bit. Yeah, let's go for some defense. He has a lot, a lot, a lot of offense right now. So I think what we want to do is yeah, go for some defense. And here was that v that victory from our first attack um, that we barely pulled out. Silphi is doing good. We had those two attack, uh, fast attack ships that we pulled out of the hangar and sent up to Gaikon. Now we're building two uh, dreadnoughts. And Ibani just finished its, uh, what is it called? This improvement, system improvement for colonial rights, which will increase our approval. We are still uh, assimilating this, this system, so our approval is going to be less. Um, but we w what we want to go for is, um, it looks like food is fairly low. Um, and so this is a this star system improvement should help with that. So let's go with that. It'll take a while, but that's all right. And that takes care of those. Uh, so let's go ahead and end the turn. So this, yes, okay. And now we do have 
uh, one of their paladin ships, which looks like a light attack ship slash scout. Um, so we will go manual here, and we will do a um, an offensive retreat to get our scout out of there. We might lose our scout, actually. But, uh, yes, an offensive retreat. Uh, we have lost a lot of scouts in this game. Um, I'm not sure how the scout retreat works. What I've found is that if we get attacked by a pirate and we retreat with a scout, it almost, I think I've always seen it work. And then I don't think I've ever seen a scout retreat successfully from another faction. But I'm not sure if that's uh, intentional or not. But we shall see. We shall see right away. Yes, in fact, we did lose our scout. And, yes, now this small two resistance templates for... <laughs> it's an interesting AI thing. We'll go auto here. The AI's name, obviously, are naming their, their fleets, and that's just kinetic, so... Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And this was the alert for losing our scout. That's fine. We'll just build another one somewhere. Let's see. Do we have... Yes, we have a hangar done there. In fact, let's just go ahead and... What's entangled again? Plus 20% influence area. That might be good to have. Let's go with... Oh, that is eight turns. That's annoying. So let's create uh, a scout and, and a dreadnought mm, repair ship. Yeah, we'll be able to crank that out. We'll just have that repair ship just in case somebody needs it. We might just keep them in this system in case people want to retreat. And K Dark Crest, our fleet commander, leveled up to level six. So we will give him. Let's see. These are some uh, hero abilities, and these can be played during the turn. Let's actually just give him a balanced one right now, and that'll open up some good stuff for later and that was our battle report we were we lost our scout and let's resolve the movement all right sing we're going to invade and guard and we are invading and guarding over here and you can see already we've taken a little bit a little chunk out of their health I guess you would call that maybe health I'm not sure um, and these guys uh, this is our one of our fleets. It's not very well, uh, very heavily damaged, and we do have two de two dreadnoughts in there, so that'd be great for invasion. And what we do want to do, however, is attack that paladin ship. We're gonna go auto because we're absolutely gonna destroy it. It only has kinetic. Go ahead and dismiss that. And one thing to note, and we'll go ahead and invade and guard there. One thing to note. Yes, this was our um, this fleet was coming up from here from the pirate area, and it looks like um, our blue, our purple pilgrim, f quote unquote friends. Ooh, and that doesn't look good. I don't like that at all. Um, Fifteen forty-six against eighteen hundred. Hmm, that's gonna be painful. What I want to do is, and yeah, we don't have any movement points left. This pirate fleet. Well, they only have two movement points, so that might be okay. It's very, very slow. Um, so they might not reach us before we get these um, these guys up here, these two fast attack ships. All right, and while I'm looking at Sylphi, we have that Dreadnought. I will send that also up to Gaikon. Now, Sylphi needs something to do. Actually, while I'm thinking of it, I want to check on our systems to make sure we don't have any infinite infinite productions. Okay, this is one, and this is one. Let's see if we can do anything better yet. Yes, I think we were doing this mostly because there's just terrible production on this planet, and also none of this stuff really helps. So that's okay. We did take a look at it. Um, yep, that's okay. We'll leave that for now. Okay, so our fleets are doing well. This fleet is moving toward this area. And yes, actually, we want to move 
these guys these guys don't have a dreadnought so I think I want these guys to kinda search around to make sure we're not gonna get hit by any surprises go over here oh shoot I didn't mean to do that damn it damn it alright Ugh. that's really goddamn annoying Alright, anyway, for some reason, the game selected the, sh the stupid fleet that was here, even though I sent it. Whatever, we'll fix that next turn. Alright, let's f take care of some of these empty queues. Sylphi. Sylphi, Sylphi. How many plane? how many ships do we actually have? a lot but we do need to make up from the stuff that we lost um, so I want to go ahead and let's go to missile attack ships two fast attack ships and a repair ship and Takim needs something to do let's give you that because you're unhappy with us all right and we're going to get a hero next turn, and we're also going to finish research next turn, so it should be eventful. Okay. So we have this fleet coming in. Fairly powerful, however. Um, okay, first things first. I'm going to send these guys back over here just one I'm going to attack and auto resolve that and we might lose a couple no we didn't they must not have had any missile attacks nope. okay I want you to invade and block now these guys yes these guys are our runners and gunners so we're going to send them to Taurus good okay and we're still invading over here we're still invading over here invasion is going much better than green it is still pretty slow going but we should be able to take these out in just a couple of turns and hopefully they won't be able to counter attack quickly at least okay now we do have two in the hangar here yes we have our scout which we're going to create one there and we're going to take him and go scout out I want him to scout. Uh, let's see. We're sending our runner, our fast attack ships over here. Actually, like I see that fleet just at the edge of our sensor range. I can see this guy coming in. He's not very uh, well equipped, but I've seen ships kind of come in and they look like they're not well equipped, and then all of a sudden, boom, we have 593 military power. But still, they shouldn't be able to affect us. So we're gonna send our scout over there. And we're going to create this. I guess we have a repair ship already here, so I'm going to let's take a look and see who doesn't have a repair ship. That's our scout. These guys have a repair ship. I think everybody actually might have a repair ship. Yeah. So let's just leave them here for now. Let's resolve our movement. I know we've got some guys coming up here. Excellent. That's good. We want to merge them. We have yes, two fast attack, and we're gonna merge them. Yes, that gives us a nice fleet and actually for now we might want to merge these so that if the pirate does get here it won't be able to ju to just attack our repair ship and we'll unmerge that um, eventually and now we have a dreadnought here so I'm going to send him over here and I'll merge that as well so we can fit one more one command point ship there and so we won't be able to fit that dreadnought in there but we are building more here so we'll create a missile attack ship and we'll send him to Gaikon. Okay, so we did get a new hero. Let's take a look. Ruchk dash C2 Odessa 44. Freaky looking guy. <laughs> okay, so he's an adventurer and pilot. That's great for uh looks he's he's got absolutely no command at all, so we will want to slap this guy on a fleet. He has got pretty good let's see pretty good defense he's pretty good on defense um, 
but he is ready to recruit at 260 and we can fit him in so let's recruit him and we are going to assign him to a fleet and let's see who doesn't who's our most powerful fleet without a commander that would be these guys 3000 and 30 and 93 they are on Gaikon they're not out in the field though but this is our good one so we will give him them attach that hero to that we finished uh, at atomic substrate so we'll, we now have access to this or a chal six or chal six strategic resource and we also have this new planetary exploitation uh, which helps uh, industry so that should automatically get applied to all of our planets that already had that uh, tier two exploit so let's go in here and start looking at what we want to do next we do have a big chunk of uh, the diplomacy and trading not much out of the science but halfway here our military up here could do for a little more but I do think we are fairly well actually personal shielding will unlock a lot of those other uh, luxury resources that we uh, used to have or we that we've seen but haven't had access to and ooh, that looks that star system improvement is really nice for defense and this support module um, increases our defense against all those attack types so let's go for this one and then this one no nope, we want to go this one then this one great so that takes care of that and we it looks like we have a couple deposits of order chalcix let's take a look at order chalcix we get oh okay that's good for production and science or industry and science and then we'll get if we get four or more we will get minus 30 percent industry cost on those uh, modules that use or six that's great so we'll close that now we have to take care of a couple things let's see actually they are only happy with us here so I'm going to go ahead and use our unlimited information highways to boost that ha approval rating and that might help uh, with some production and other th things. Yersh, let's see, Yersh is ecstatic. We can't get any better than that, although we are not max ecstatic, but we are still ecstatic. And where is Yersh anyway? Nope. Oh yes, Yersh is over here. That's right. <laughs> Just take a look around. Okay, let's see. I think what we want to do is go for. Let's go for. Hmm, let's actually crank out. To, oh, I don't know. Let's go for a miss, couple missile attack ships. That sounds good to me. And cancer. Yes, cancer. Do we do moon? Let's do a moon survey. And let's also let's see what can we do for. No, we can't do much for production. Actually, this these guys are actually doing pretty good considering we are assimilating them. They like us fairly uh, a lot, and that's actually because we have all of those approval improvements. So let's actually go for some. Yes, some science, which will be great. And that takes care of that. How's our stuff going here? That should be good. We'll have this enemy arriving here, but we should be able to drive him off fairly easily. So we've got three invasions going on. That's great. We've got a scout. Uh, no, we've got another non-invasion force just kind of heading over here to see what he can do to disrupt things. And we've got a pirate ship coming in here, so we should have an eventful next turn. Okay, let's get ready for some battles. No? No battles? Yep, there it is. Okay. How are they for... Okay, there is some missile. Uh, so let's go auto. And I do want to play a card that'll help. Ooh, I thought I went... Oh, I wanted to go manual. <laughs> Oops. Well, it went our way anyway. Sorry about that. I meant to do uh, auto there. And what's these guys? This looks like just another scout coming in. Okay, so let's resolve some movement. 
Our invasions are going well. Seems to be no problems. There's no nothing going on in Taurus here. And we wouldn't be able to tell if they had anything in their hangar anyway. So let's, we have five out of eight. Let's go over to Bundus. Okay, we found a fleet over here. It looks like just a fairly, yeah, these fleets they're sending, they're kind of just kind of building ships and kind of sending them at us, hoping that they'll be able to stop us. But the, the better way to do it would be the way Green was doing it, which was building up in their hangar on their invading systems and then attacking us. But they might be doing that, so, yeah, they might be doing that. <laughs> Okay, so we have a game event, uh, desk code cracked. Partially, anyway, applied mathematicians, the team of Trasman Rorkum and Edric, have decrypted some of the algorithms underlying the structure and communication between dust particles, and partially replicated their networking processes. A chain reaction results in a boost to scientific development across the galaxy, so everyone gets plus 25% science on their system per round, per turn. That's cool, that's awesome, that's gonna really help our, r our research. Um, Excellent. That's very good. And we did just complete uh, advanced countermeasures, which gives us that support module for our ships and also that star system improvement for some really good defense, um, which is great. Um, I don't know if we'll really be needing to defend on anything, but it's good anyway. Okay, so Cancer doesn't have any moon, and everything is queued up. Let's actually take a look at our... Our ships that are, let's see. Yeah, so we can kind of see. I, I wish there was a better icon for, hey, I'm in the hangar. But this guy is in the hangar. And so we're going to create a fleet out of him. Uh, and then, let's see. And again, these pirates are very, very slow. So we only have we have two out of eleven and ten out of eleven. What I want to do is move this guy out of here. So he, oh, but we don't have any. Yeah, I might, hmm. if I scrap, he goes back into the hangar. Nope. Disband does that. Yes. Okay. So we'll put him in the hangar so that the pirates don't get a chance to attack. And actually what we'll do is guard so that once they get in here, we'll actually have the drop on them. All right, let's go to Sylphi. We have two fast attack ships there that we can send up over here. And let's take a look. Hangar, hangar. I'm just looking for that hangar icon. Nope, nothing looks too bad there. All right, let's continue on. And we should be getting a attack over here. Mm, oh, maybe not. I think it, they might. Hmm. Yes. That's interesting. Okay, there's the pirate attack. Yes. Now let's take a look. They are all kinetic. That's a lot of kinetic damage, however. Let's go uh, manual for this one. I want to play some cards that will help negate some of that kinetic damage. I think it'll be all defensive cards. Let's see. Defense is, yes, plus defector, deflector efficiency. There are two of these, but, um, and this camouflage would be a good card to play if they had missiles. But I think we're gonna go, let's see. Yes, we will just go defense all the way. And we actually countered their, their offense, which is great. And we're starting to decimate them. Yes. See, sometimes even though the battle looks lopsided from a military points uh, point of view, you have to look at the attack types and the defense types to determine whether or not it would be beneficial to go in and manipulate the cards in order to make something go more in your favor. That's what I did this turn, uh, this time. We had a much more superior force when we look at the military points, but it was a, a good idea to go in and play our cards so that they didn't actually do any damage whatsoever to us. And we'll stop guarding there. And now what we're going to do 
is let's resolve our movement. We might be able to merge. Whoops. Yes, we have a 1 out of 11 missile attack. Now, do we have a repair ship in here? Yes, we do. Excellent. So we'll merge these two. And now we have a full fleet there. And we do have that new commander. So we will send these guys. And we are going to go for Taurus. I think we want to more go for... Well, there w I still don't know if we can not invade the capital before we or the home system before we invade all the other systems i haven't completely figured that out it might have just been the home system had a lot more defense against invasion on it when we were taking over the greens over here at cancer um but actually and that might be a good point to look we have one two we have two dreadnoughts actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send them right to nuskarn Nus, uh, Nusakin, sorry, not Nuskarn, Nusakin. Now, I have a feeling uh, the ships that were coming in were dodging our guard for some reason. I'm not sure how they could do that. Um, it might be a random chance of initiating an attack, but they came in, they didn't attack us, and they harbored, I think. Uh, or, not harbored, but uh, hangered. So they might be building up a huge attack. Um a huge attack force here and then they're going to try to repel our invasion um, which wouldn't be good so what we want what we might want to consider is putting these guys over here um, to contend with that um, so that if indeed one of our fleets gets completely destroyed we'll still have a fleet invading so we won't lose all our invasion progress okay so we do have a two a level two leveled up there and we'll go for offense and offense and we now have a uh, void stone monopoly and we also have a mercurate monopoly so that's very good I thought we already had those but that might still be that bug that we were looking at last time uh, or in one of my videos I know we've encountered it before where it kinda tells us we have an abundance or a monopoly when we already have one if we get a new unit um, so Sil5 finished those fast attack and repair, so let's actually send those again. We're sending those up here. Now, what can we, we could do? Let's go ahead and beef up our uh, defense, even though, I mean, we are pretty far in, but it is our home system, uh, far in to our you know, from the route that uh, the purples or the oranges might take to take over us, but it might be a good idea to just have that just in case. We have a missile attack ship here, so we're going to send it over here. Let's take a look at... Okay, so Way needs something to do. Their dust, again, is very, very low. So we might actually want to look at researching an improvement for dust as well. Let's take a look at what else we can do, however. Could go plus 20% influence. However, we don't have a lot of industry either. Let's go for that. Yes, it's going to be an infinite dust, uh, industry to dust conversion, which should help uh, offset some of that. Yeah, we're not even close to an economic victory. I'd have to look up exactly what that entails. So that takes care of all that. We have four turns left on our research, and our invasions are still going well. These, This fleet, which is our scout, and I just want them kind of poking up over here. I'll send them kind of around just to check out the situation. And in the next turn, when we have movement points available, I want to move this fleet up and start taking out. Yes, we already have the movement queued up to take out, um, to take out their home system. Alright, any attacks? Nope. This is good, we're about 50% done with that. We have a level up for our fleet commander here. Let's see. More, ra more, um, more radar, or more, uh, yeah, radar, I guess, or forget exactly what that's called now 
Anyway, uh, let's go for a little more veteran. That might open up some cool stuff later. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Master Hacker might be cool. I think that maybe that'll help us spy those other fleets for purple. Okay, so Sylphi finished that. Now, do these... These actually... Actually, this star system improvement uh, might be worth it as well. Even though it's mostly good... Its main attribute is for approval, but it does give us plus 10% to all those... All our fids when we're ecstatic, and we are ecstatic. Um... I'd say that's very much worth it, and it'll it will only take one turn. Now, Yurse just finished a missile attack ship, so let's go that and send him up here. And I think these guys are heading. Yes, we're heading over here, so we will continue over there. Mm, yep, and we're going to merge this missile attack these two missile attacks and we're going to pull this guy out of the hangar it's a dreadnought and we'll merge them together there so we're starting another fleet let's actually take a look at minus 90 from fleets which compared to how much we're being drained from systems is absolutely nothing and our our approval is through the roof on our non unassimilated system so that's great uh, so let's resolve that movement. And yes, we were sending, we were sending these uh, fast attack ships, missile attack ships, and repair ship back over here just in case they, oranges decide to launch a counter attack. And let me just scope out. No, nope, that's not too bad. Looks good. So yours need something else to do. They're ecstatic, so it might be worth. Oh, no, that wasn't the ecstatic one. We already have that. Yes, this one right here, the colonial rights. Let's see. Let's go ahead and... Oh, hell. Let's build a colony ship. Why not? Let's start uh, expanding over here. Actually, let's let's t finally take over Xanados and go over to Zakor and Let's do that kind of in the background. I know we are fighting a war, but we still need to worry about the people and, and expanding, especially if we decide to just go for an expansionist victory instead of trying to take out purple. Okay, so uh, Shikaro Rye Steel is one of our... Uh, oh, this is our, this is our system, our only system commander. So what we want to do here is get more... Let's go for more wit to help our dust and science. We've been mostly for focusing on labor, which is food and industry. All right, everything looks good. Okay, this might be... Let's take a look here. Let's watch this. Yes, see, it disappeared. Now, what's probably happening is, like I said in the last couple of turns, is they're, they're going in to the hangar, and then they're going to get their max fleet, and then they're going to attack us. And I don't know how much military power that's going to have. It might, it's probably going to be a lot, which is really why I want these ships over here quickly. All right, so let's actually re resolve our movement. Go ahead and merge all these ships together. Select all merge. Great. And it looks like our colony ship is done. So let's create that and send this bad boy over here. And it looks like Sylphi finished. Oh, wow, we have a lot of stuff to deal with. Okay. Sylphi finished all that. Spy all fleets orbiting the system. Plus 25. They're really good on approval. Let's go for this one in case we need to buy out anything. So Yersh, let's actually do another colony ship since we can crank these out pretty quickly. Can we do actually? No, we can't do more than one per turn at our industry rate right now. So Gaikon is also empty. So let's go ahead and create a another dreadnought. Sounds good. And Ibani needs something to do. Let's go for 
more yes more trade route and actually let's go for Xeno tourism then trade route then space elevator then satellite let's kind of get this uh, colony up to snuff we are almost completely the owner uh, and actually our approval has gone up much better and actually if you look and see we have this green smiley face in the lower right corner of the icon for our empire management screen and that's because we our approval average in all our systems is fervent which is excellent and we, all we have to deal with is mica and i really let's take a look at why so we have acid rain and strong magnetic field anomalies which are hurting our approval here but there has to be something else. Let's take a look. This tooltip has always been finicky. There we go. Minus 75 from planets. Okay. Now is that... It does say minus 20 on planets. It's not per person. Yeah. Okay. So actually... And we are doing space elevator. That's alright. We'll deal with all that later. So Takim also needs something to do. Uh, and let's actually go for more trade routes and better bo trade route bonuses. And also, we want that satellite, which is good. Yep, that looks good. Actually, let's go back to Takim. Yeah, that'll take. It'll take a while, but it'll, it will be worth it. And now, Cancer needs something to do. And we have zero out of four routes there. I think we canceled a bunch of routes once we went to war with the Orange Pilgrims. Um, so that might be affecting us a little bit. Let's go for... And we can crank out more ships. I mean, at this point, we really have a very large fleet, but what we might want to... I mean, we we kind of have a large fleet, but... I mean, it's not huge. And especially if we want, if we're going to be taking out purple, it might be a good idea. But I'm probably going to be in, uh, revising my designs as well. So it might not be worth it to build them now and then retrofit them later. Especially with the l small amount of gold we have. So let's go. Oh, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Let's just do this one in the hopes that our trade routes will come back. And that takes care of that. Okay. Invasions are going well. Sing should fall in a couple turns. And this is our scout. Let's send him <coughs> over here. Just kind of scout things out. I, you know, that's what his name is. He scouts things out. Everything else looks good. Oh, that's our colony ship going over to Xanados. Okay. Let's resolve the movement. Okay, we should be able to reach this in the next turn, which would be very good. Um, this is our fleet going over to Nusakan. This is our scout. This is our other fleet. And we have another colony ship that we can send over. Let's go over to... Let's just start colonizing any and all. Any and all, any and all. And our colony ship is heading over there. Still five finished an improvement. What did they, what were they building? Ah, oh yes, the bonus, the buyout bonus. Uh, let's go for influence area. And then let's go for... We have plus 20 dust on explored moon. So that would be plus 4 at the cost of minus 3. It would be plus one. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Sure, why not? Okay, your sh. So we'll just finish that colony ship. I think we're just gonna build colony ships out of your sh right now, until it's not beneficial to do so. All right. Let's, uh, yep. Let's end the turn. Let's check out our scores again. Mm, I don't like that. 
Uh, they seem to be fairly weak. I'm strange. Okay, I don't like that. Well, let's resolve our movement. Okay, so now we have we have two pretty good fleets here. We could actually start sending eight out of eleven. What we might want to do. Sing should fall next turn, it looks like, which is great. Um, Zakor, we're going to colonize. Large Tundra. Yes, let's colonize Large Tundra. We're going to go for an exploitation of Tundra. Is yes, here. Not. Now we also, we're getting into the situation where some of our exploitations, our higher level exploitations, exploitations will work on a, a, a variety of planets but we actually really want some industry here so we'll go with that one great and this guy is slowly making his way towards Xanados what do we find okay this was our research we've got mundane artifacts pre-schism artifacts we've got two deposit or normal deposit on Takim I guess normal means two. That's cool. Let's see if we get any. So you have virtual artifacts, normal and poor, so that's three total. Concrete artifacts. Cool. So we uh, that's our personal shielding. Now let's take a look at something that will increase our dust. Uh, an improvement, a system-wide improvement that will increase our dust. This one will. Let's see. What will this one do? Mmm. A planetary exploitation. That would be very nice. One thing we haven't done is gone back through all of our planets and looked at their exploits. Um, that's really, really micro. Uh, and I mean, we could do it, but it is pretty, you know, pretty boring. Star system improvement. Advanced scholastics. We get plus two dust per person on all planets. This is, I think that's what we want. Yeah, that's what we want. Let's go for that. It'll only take four turns. That's not too bad. Dismiss that. And Gaikon and Yershi need something to do. Let's actually crank out missile attack and a fast attack. And we're going to go ahead and do a merge here. 10 out of 11. There should be another colony. Yep, we're going to create that and send him over here to Nalan. Briya, if I remember correctly, is not very good. But we'll eventually colonize it. Now, Yersh needs something to do. That was our colony, so we'll do another one of those. We'll end the turn. Okay, here comes some attacks. I know there's going to be some attacks. There's got to be. No attacks, really. By the time... Hmm, hmm, what I'm worried of is that... Hmm, <laughs> I am kind of worried that what they're going to try to do is wait until we're very, very close to invading and then spring their trap. I'm hoping that's not going to happen. And they might attack with these two. Um... We shall see. So we do have a missile attack. Excellent. That'll fit right in with these guys. So we're going to select on merge. We are actually going to take this fleet over here to alleviate some of that worry I have. Hopefully they don't do it right away in the next turn. And we also have a fleet, a fairly large fleet, coming over here. We had to know that was going to happen. And we also have a fleet there kind of guarding. Sing should fall soon, as should Brassia. Yours finished its colony ship again. So we are going to take that and head to Veni. And on Yours, we're going to build one more. I think that should be all. Yes, one more for Bri over here. We're going to colonize Xanados. And we're going to go with, let's see, Tundra, Rich Atmosphere. We're going to go with this one first. And we're going to build this industry planetary exploitation. And on Cancer, we are going to 
<laughs> Let's see. Cancer, right here. This is the one that's making this influence ring here. So I think what we'll do is... Oh, this is not... That's not what I thought it was. But what are we? Medium, medium, and medium. So this will have absolutely no effect. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I was looking at something else. Yes, this is what we want. We want plus 20% influence area. So we'll go with that. Takes care of that. Everything looks good here. Um, we could attack. But it's not worth it. 1 out of 11. That's our scout. And that's our... Yes, this is our fleet that's going to be invading. There's home system. Alright, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Things should happen. I believe there's going to be some things that are going to happen. Come on, something, anything. Anything at all. Anything at all. Nothing, really? You have a 938? Are they going to disappear? No. Okay, so we did take Sing. It's very good. And we're going to go up to Fajis. Take that over. Now, over here, what we want to do is take a look around. What can we do? No exploits to uh, take care of. Oof, why'd they go with that? Actually, let's fix some of, the, some of what the AI did. Um, this is gas helium. It's methane. Da -da. Industry. This guy has plenty of food, not much industry. So I think what we're going to do is do that. Replace that. Let's look at this. Um, yeah, this is definitely an arid. Plus one on arid. Where's the arid? Plus two for dust. We need some more industry though. So I think I'm going to slap that on there. And we have three science. We could use some science, and science is good barren here, so let's go with that. It looks like the AI just slapped all farm exploits on here. Hmm. Dumb AI. Okay, resolve the movement. Okay, we might get attacked. Yes, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't expect that. I should have been looking out for that. There are some serious pirate. There are some serious pirate forces. Oh boy. Not good. Not good. I didn't think of that. No, the problem is there's. Uh, we have a colony ship, and we have a bunch of pirates that are gonna fuck shit up pretty badly. Okay, we got away. However, I don't know if our retreat will be successful. Like I was saying earlier in the video, the um, I've only seen a retreat really succeed against pirates. Yes, we did succeed, actually. Okay, so I forgot completely about these pirates. In fact, they have grown substantially. That is a big problem. We're very lucky that they haven't come to mess with us. We are extremely lucky. So I'm going to send my colony ship over here. I don't think there are any pilot pirates over there. There might be, actually, for all I know. Oh, boy. That was unfortunate. That sucked. Okay. Okay, so before I can start invading, I do need to take these guys out. So this should be a fairly lopsided battle. Okay, they do have some missiles, so I do want to go manual so I can counter that. <coughs> and I think we want to go camouflage. I think camouflage is good for anti-missile. Let's see, plus efficient, 40 efficiency on anti-missile. Yes, that is the best one. So we're just going to go camouflage all the way. And hopefully they don't play in a sabotage card. For all we know, they might. Nope. They're playing tactics. Oh, so that does uh, increase the weapon damage. So we might we might lose a ship or two. 
We just might. Okay, they've lost one ship from our missiles. They're losing health rapidly. There's their second ship. We lost one. We lost two. They lost all theirs. And will we lose any more? Nope, we lost two ships. We took out their four. That's all right. They did have a substantial missile force, uh, missile uh, attack modules on their ships. And again, like I've been reiterating over and over again, we don't have any missile defense, which is something we need to definitely change if we're going to go after purple. Okay, so what did we lose? We lost two fast attack ships, no problem. And we did have this guy level up, which is awesome. I think we're going to go for some defense. And now we're going to guard and invade. And this is our scout, I believe. Yes, it is. And we sh we have a nice bunch of fleets here, poised to take out any counterattack that'll happen. I think here might fall within the next couple of turns. Actually, let me look at how much time we have left. Actually, it looks like we're getting toward the end of this video. So let me wrap up this turn. On Sylphi, we are going to go for... We're just going to knock out these. Let's just knock them out just to get them out of our way. Um, that might not be like the best thing to do, um, but I don't see it really being a problem in terms of like, you know, if we're considering this game a chess match, that's pretty much a wasted turn and you should really never look at a wasted turn, but we're not battling against, you know, the most advanced AI, uh, in the world. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. And this is uh, Gaikon. And actually, let's go for the that bu buyout bonus, especially since we build a lot of ships there. That'll help. And on Yersh, we did finish that colony ship, which we were looking at earlier. And we would like, in order for the capital, where is it? The colonial rights, um, those FIDs, in percent increases to kick in we need to be ecstatic so what I want to do is I want to increase our approval here so I'm going to go for unlimited information highways so we'll dismiss that take a look around all right so that's going to be the end of this video let's uh, survey what we've done so far we continued our invasion um, that was really the focus of this um, this part of the video we took out Singh and uh, we are going to be taking out here in Brasia next we're going to be repelling some orange counterattacks and hopefully surviving that and um, we'll be prepping for you know the next phase of our game which will be either to be getting ready to take out purple or whatever else that might be all right i uh, hope you enjoyed watching and hope you tune in for our next episode thank you very much